Welcome to this installment of Talent Development Secondary's video instruction series. My name is Fred Vincent and I'll be demonstrating how to make a protractor out of this piece of wax paper. I'll also demonstrate how to use the protractor to measure the units of an object. If you'd like to participate along with me, pause the video and make a wax paper square. You'll need a square measuring 5 inches by 5 inches. You might want to make two just in case you make a mistake somewhere along the way. Let's begin. Create the first fold by laying the wax paper on a flat surface and folding it in half from the bottom to top. Since you'll be measuring with the protractor, it's important to make each fold crisp and even. You'll create your second fold by folding the left edge over to the right edge. You now have created a square with a common corner. The common corner is the center of the folded paper. Now let's continue with the third fold. Holding the paper on the common corner, Bring the right lower edge up to the left side of the paper in a diagonal. For the fourth and final fold, hold the paper on the common corner and take the left edge and fold it across to meet the right edge. That's it! Now let's open up the protractor. When you open the protractor, you can see all the angular units are folds created. Now you can see why it's important to keep the folds crisp and even. I'm now going to demonstrate how easy it is to use your protractor to determine angular units. Let's use this intriguing looking object. I'm going to see how many angular units are in this top angle. First, locate the protractor center spot and place it on the angle's corner. Turn the protractor about its center spot until one line of the protractor lays on top of the left line and the other line of the protractor lays on top of the right line. Now with the protractor properly aligned, let's see how many angular units this corner has. This corner has two angular units. That's all there is to making and using a wax paper protractor. Because the protractor is semi-transparent, you can use it on textbooks, chalkboards, overhead projectors, or document cameras. In Unit 4, Lesson 4 of Transition to Advanced Mathematics, Students begin learning measuring with standard units. This self-crafted protractor provides students with the opportunity to see how many units fit into a specific angle without having to worry about numbers just yet. This understanding will help them build a comprehension of measuring with standard units. Thank you for taking the time to view this video on making and using a wax paper protractor, and we welcome you to view the other videos in our video instruction series.